In Colts Neck, New Jersey, a peculiar and concerning sight unfolded in the twilight of one evening, catching the attention of a local resident from his backyard. Initially, the scene seemed surreal, a creature resembling an alien, clad in what appeared to be a space suit helmet, moving among the trees. However, upon closer inspection, the man realized it was a young deer in distress, with a round glass jar or vase firmly lodged on its head, rendering it unable to free itself. Understanding the gravity of the situation, the resident observed that the deer was isolated from its herd, a common behavior among deer when one is perceived as weak or injured, potentially attracting predators. Recognizing the urgency, he promptly contacted both the local chapter of the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, ASPCA, and the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection for assistance. Rescuers arrived swiftly, and after carefully tranquilizing the deer, began their delicate operation to free it from its predicament. The glass container, identified as part of a lighting fixture that had been partially filled, likely caught the deer's attention on the ground, leading it to investigate and inadvertently become trapped. The animal, visibly dehydrated and emaciated from its ordeal, had likely endured the ordeal for several days. Despite its ordeal, the deer sustained only minor scratches and appeared otherwise resilient. Once the tranquilizer wore off, the deer regained consciousness and promptly departed, seemingly on its way. Later that same day, rescuers received another call about a lone and weakened deer, which turned out to be the same one. They administered dehydration medication, and after some care, the deer's condition visibly improved and its breathing stabilized. With restored strength, the deer eventually disappeared into the surrounding woods, prompting no further reports of its distress. This suggested that the deer had likely rejoined its herd safely, marking a positive outcome to its harrowing experience. Interestingly, this incident wasn't the only case of animals encountering unusual traps. While birds effortlessly perch on power lines, other wild creatures occasionally find themselves in precarious situations involving high poles and structures. These scenarios underscore the diverse challenges animals face in urban and natural environments alike, often requiring human intervention to ensure their safety and well-being. In Florida, a mundane day for a local resident turned into a surprising encounter when he stepped outside for errands and spotted what initially seemed like a large bird perched on a pole. On closer inspection, however, he realized it wasn't a bird but a raccoon in a precarious situation. Sensing the urgency of the matter, he promptly contacted Animal Rescue Services for assistance. Rescuers arrived swiftly to the scene and quickly discerned that the raccoon hadn't just climbed the pole for fun. Upon closer examination, they noticed an unusual object firmly lodged on its head, a glass jar. The panicked raccoon had likely climbed the pole out of fear and confusion, unable to see due to the obstruction on its head. Understanding the animal's predicament, rescuers carefully lowered the raccoon from the pole and proceeded to safely remove the jar. It became evident that the creature had inadvertently gotten its head stuck while possibly trying to access food remnants from the jar, emphasizing the risks wildlife might take for a taste of enticing treats like peanut butter. Reflecting on the incident, it underscores the importance of securely closing and properly disposing of jars and containers to prevent wildlife from accidentally getting trapped. While peanut butter may be a delectable treat, it's clear that no meal is worth the peril animals face when encountering human refuse. Instances like these serve as reminders of the unintended consequences of human actions on wildlife and highlight the role of responsible waste management in safeguarding animal welfare in urban and natural habitats alike.